So today we'll be discussing uh, topics associated with world geography and government schemes. So uh, I hope you are aware your IFT exam is very near. And if you see their previous year question, they have asked questions from world geography, uh, some uh, sections of government schemes also and all. I hope you are aware of that. So if I'm audible and visible, just write in the comments, yes, sir, you're audible, uh, so that we can start our session. Yes, good evening, everyone. Good evening, guys. So let's uh, start without wasting our time. Uh, let's uh, start. See, if you see the previous year question of IAFT, uh, they have asked questions from straits and canals. Okay, so different types of Panama Canal, Suez Canal, Strait of Gibraltar, these types of questions they have asked in the previous year uh, papers. So that is why I'll be giving you similar types of questions. You have to read the question and answer it. And after that, I'll be explaining it. Okay. So these are your questions. Which of the following states connect Mediterranean Sea with Atlantic Ocean? And these are your options. Uh, this is a previous year question of IFT. Uh, yes, this will be helpful for that also. Yes, Jayadev, of course. Of course. So please answer it. Once you answer it, after that, I'll be explaining also. Right. So this will be both a question answer as well as theory session, right? So please answer it because this is a previous year question of IFT. Uh, so I'm expecting you all to answer it. Which of the following is straight? A straight is a narrow water body, you can say, which connects, which connects two large water body, right? So that is what we call it as straight, right? So which strait connects Mediterranean Sea with Atlantic Ocean? Uh, answer it in the live chat. I'm waiting for your answers. So the right answer to this question is option A. Strait of Gibraltar is the right answer. Please keep on answering in the live chat. Okay, so you can see it here. Uh, here is India. Uh, this is Europe. I hope you are aware of this. Okay, here you will find Atlantic Ocean. So this one is Atlantic and this one is actually Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Now, so Atlantic and Mediterranean Sea is connected by a strait called as Strait of Gibraltar or you can say Gibraltar Strait. So this was asked in IAFT previous year question. So earlier it was, it has been asked. So they may repeat it or similar type of questions they can give. Yes, Education World has answered it, it is the right answer to this question. Now, uh, I'll be discussing about some more straits and canals. So let's move on to another question, which says, uh, this is star market, this is in news. Uh, that is why you should be aware of it. Uh, Strait of Dardanelles and Strait of Bosporus connects which two water body? Your options are Black Sea and Mediterranean Sea. So these are your options. Uh, Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean, Red Sea and Pacific Ocean, none of the above. What is the right answer, guys? Answer it in the live chat. I'm waiting for your answers. Uh, you can attempt it even if you do not know it. Uh, this is in news, so that is why it becomes important for you. It might be asked in exam. What is the right answer, guys? So the right answer to this question actually is a uh, state of Dardanelles or Dardanelles state and Bosporus state actually connects Mediterranean Sea and Black Sea. Yes. <coughs> so the right answer to this question is A is the right answer. Since Russia-Ukraine war, this has been very much in the news. Yes, Gungun Narwal has answered it correctly. Yes. Since Russia Ukraine war, these two actually straits have been very much in the news. So you must be aware of it. Okay, let me explain. Uh, here you will find India. Uh, so this is Ukraine. Here you will find Russia, a very big country. Actually, this is a very big country, Russia here. Uh, this is Black Sea, right? This one is Black Sea. And this one is, I have told you just now, it's a Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. Okay. So now this is connected by two straits. If you see it carefully, here is Black Sea, here is Mediterranean Sea, here is Ukraine. Uh, this one is Russia here. Okay. So if you want to come from ship uh, through Russia, you will go like this Black Sea and then you will have to cross these two. Okay. So these two are places. Uh, let me zoom it. Yes, this is Bosporus Strait. Bosporus Strait and this one is Dardanelles Strait. Okay. So you have to cross these two. Okay. So if you are coming from here, so Bosporus Strait, then Dardanelles Strait, then you have to come to Mediterranean Sea and then you can go out. Okay. So you must be aware of it. 
why it was in the news because of russia ukraine war so there is a convention called as montrex convention so let me first tell you so this is turkey so if you are coming from ukraine or russia so you'll have to cross istanbul this uh, bosphorus state and dardanelles state so this bosphorus state is actually regulated or controlled by whom turkey so this is a turkey country and under which agreement so this is montrex convention this convention actually regulates bosphorus strait and dardanelles strait and because of russia ukraine war it was in the news so this becomes very very important okay you must be aware of it is it clear guys are you able to understand if you have any question you can ask it so just have an idea because these are important ones so that is why i'm explaining it now the next one is which of the following canals connect atlantic and pacific ocean so canals are actually made uh, by it is artificially made artificially made means it they are made by humans these are not uh, you can say made by nature okay which connects to water body so atlantic ocean and pacific ocean is connected by which canal suez canal panama canal kra canal keel canal what is the right answer to this question everyone should answer it i am waiting for your answers you all can try also uh, it's very famous uh, yes jayadev has answered it correctly so the right answer is panama canal you must be knowing about suez canal panama canal yes alauddin haq maltesh from app has also answered it correctly b is the right answer to this question okay let me show you here is india okay this is atlantic ocean and this one is pacific ocean right and here you will find usa okay now here is a country called as panama and in that country actually a canal has been dug and that is called as panama canal so atlantic ocean and pacific ocean is connected by panama canal you can see it here this is panama country okay so here is atlantic and here you will find pacific right yes mayank uh, maitri dhawan Parsh, parshwana de samir shivani vama you all are right so many people have answered it so this is panama canal okay it got built in 1914 completely yeah, na? so um, now let's talk about since we have discussed about panama canal another question can be asked is associated with swiss canal so swiss canal connects which two water body and these are your options uh, i hope you are aware last year it was in news you remember that last year i think in march it was in news uh, because of blockage so a ship got blocked yeah, na? in a Swiss canal and that is why it was very much in the news at that time right <clears throat> so what is the right answer Swiss canal connects which two water body yes uh, the right answer to this question is yes Basavaraj, Irandole, Alauddin Haq you all are right uh, Parashanath, De, Education World, uh, Shivani, Kavya you all are right so the right answer is it connects Red Sea and Mediterranean Sea yes Maitreya Dhawan you all are right so let me show you here uh, so here is India okay now uh, this is mediterranean sea and this sea wala jo patla wala dekh rahe ho this is actually red sea and this is connected by here this is actually a uh, artificial canal has been dug swiss canal okay so you can see it here this actually here is red sea here is mediterranean sea and this canal has been dug and it is currently controlled by egypt so that's called as swiss canal it got built in 1869 okay so just have an idea about it yes okay uh, everyone please press the like button also uh, we are seeing 30, 11 likes 30 is watching so sabko like button press kado everyone but okay uh, this was in news last year i guess you remember so this was a ship which actually got uh, blocked it actually blocked the swiss canal right you remember that last year Anna? so that is why at that time swiss canal was very much in the news the name of the ship uh, actually was evergreen and the company's name was ever given i hope you ever remember these things right so that was Swiss Canal. Uh, now let's talk about uh, one more strait uh, which actually comes in news again and again. Uh, this is very important strait strategically because almost one lakh ship per year crosses. And this is very important. A Malacca Strait connects which two water body? Your options are Red Sea and Mediterranean Sea, Indian Ocean and Red Sea, Arabian Sea and Red Sea, South China Sea and Indian Ocean. What is the right answer to this question? Uh, 
Everyone, please answer it. Yes, very good. Yes, Chaturvedi has answered it. Very good. Fantastic. So the right answer is option D. Alauddin Haq has also answered it correctly. Maitreya Dhawan Education World. Sai Pratab uh, Basavaraj, you all are right. So D is the right answer to this question. Uh, let me show you. So here is India. This is South China Sea. Yes, this is China. This is South China Sea. Okay. And this is the Indian Ocean. So if you want to come from South China Sea, you will go like this via ship. Anna. So this location is actually Malacca Strait. This is very, very famous and very, very important also. Okay. So here is actually Malaysia. So its shape is coming like this and it goes like this. Okay. Here you will find Singapore. This is Malaysia and here is Indonesia, right? So between Malaysia and Indonesia, this is the ship actually which goes. Anna. Malacca Strait. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just have an idea about it. Okay, uh, there is one more strait that I want to highlight. Uh, this is a, actually Arabian. So this is the answer to this question is option D, right? And which is this one? So this one is actually is Strait of Babal Mandap. Strait of Babal Mandap. That also you must be knowing it. Where it is? Let me show you. So uh, I have just discussed. Here is Arabian Sea. This is Red Sea. Yes. So here there is a strait. So this strait is called as Strait of Bab Al Mandab. Bab Al Mandab. And this is Suez Canal. We have discussed it. Yes. So just have an idea about these straits and canals because in previous year exam they have asked it. It is important even for that exam also. Yes. So D is the right answer to this question. Uh, let's move on further to countries and continents. So they have asked questions from countries, continents, capitals, and all. So let's talk about this. So this is the question for you. Read it and carefully answer it. Which of the following countries has the longest coastline? Sabse lamba samudri tat kon se country ka? Your options are Russia, Canada, USA, Indonesia. What is the right answer to this question? And there's a request. Everyone, please press the like button. Sabko like button press ka do. Everyone. So I'm waiting for your answers. Longest coastline, yani samudri tat. यानी जमीन जो है समुद्र से उधर टच करती है उसको हम लोग कोस्टलाइन कहते हैं तो सबसे लंबा किसका है पीपल आर सेइंग सी समा सेइंग बी यस आई हैव गॉट द राइट आंसर यस चतुर्वेदी इज राइट दिस इज अ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एज फार एज आई रिमेंबर इट्स अ आईएफटी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन यस एंड दे रिपीट इट समटाइम्स आल्सो दैट इज व्हाई आई एम गिविंग सम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन आल्सो यस अलाउद्दीन हक हैज आल्सो आंसरड इट करेक्टली शिवानी वर्मा इज आल्सो राइट सो द राइट आंसर इज कनाडा सो बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस Question Mayank Sani Basavaraj, you all are right. Okay, let me show you. If you see it carefully, so this is Russia's, uh, uh, you can say, this is Russia's uh, coastline, but this is China's, Canada's coastline. You can see Canada, this one, this one, it's quite long. Even USA, this one is USA, right? This one is USA's coastline, okay? But if you see Canada's coastline, and the USA's, ka, this one, and this is also USA's part, Alaska. So, this is US ka part, hai, border, coastline. But if you see Canada, let me uh, write it with red pen to understand. This is Canada's border, red pen. Okay, so this one, you can see such a long line and all, right? And here you said, these all are Canada's islands. So, if you'll see, there are so many coastlines, right? The red pen. So, that is why you can understand it that Canada's coastline is the longest. These types of questions they ask in exam. Now, the next question is, uh, which country has maximum number of neighboring countries? China, US, India, Brazil. Sabse zyada neighboring number of countries, jo uski padosi hai, numbers mein, wo koon si country hai, in charo mein? So, what is the right answer to this question, guys? Uh, I'm waiting for your answers. Please answer it, fata fat. Fast answer, yes. Uh, the right answer to this question actually is, Yes, Sai Suri has answered it. China is the right answer. So China and Russia both are having 14 neighboring countries. Okay. So here since China is, op is the option, A is the right answer. Yes, Sai Suri is right and not other people have answered it. Okay. So A is the right answer to this question. If you see China, this is China, uh, Mongolia, Russia, this are border in North Korea is there, Kyrgyzstan, uh, then Tajikistan, uh, Kazakhstan, a lot of countries, 14 nations. Similarly, Russia has also 14 uh, neighboring countries. So just have an idea about it. Yes, Shivani Vama, Education World, you have answered it correctly. Uh, the next one is also a previous, this was a previous question. Uh, which of the following continent has maximum number of countries? 
कौन से कॉन्टिनेंट में सबसे ज्यादा कंट्रीज हैं so it might not be the uh, i'm not asking the largest continent i'm asking which continent contains maximum number of countries kon se continent mein sabse zyada countries hain so the right answer to this question actually is uh, africa is the right answer to this question and yes uh, shivani sai pradeep you all are right uh, maitreya dhawan mayank alauddin haq education world parashnath sai surya kavya alauddin yes you all are right a is the right shubham sharma yes you all are right a is the right answer to this question Yes, Maltese from App is also right, Mayank. Yes. So if you see it carefully, this is Africa, and Africa has you know fifty four nations in one continent, which is actually the highest in numbers. So these types of facts, geography facts, can be easily asked in exam. Ah, uh, the next one is which of the following continent has all the three lines? That is equator, Tropic of Cancer, and Tropic of Capricorn passing through it. Africa, Asia, North America. Europe. What is the right answer to this question? Yes, we'll be having session from uh, Sunday to Thursday till Thursday at 9 p.m. So, kal bhi hogi, paso bhi hogi, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, it will keep on happening for the next five days. So, please join me at 9 p.m. daily. Uh, that will be very, very beneficial for you. Yes. Uh, so, yes, right, very good. Uh, Basavraj, Preeti, Education, Sai, uh, Shivani, Satyansh, Shreya, Maltesh from App. Yes. So it's Africa again. The right answer is Africa. So uh, if you see it carefully, this is Africa continent, and this is equator passing through it. Then somewhere here you will find Tropic of Cancer passing through it, and somewhere here Tropic of Capricorn passing through it. You can see it here. Yes. So this is Africa. You are seeing it. This is equator. The middle one is equator. Okay. This one is Tropic of Cancer passing, and this one is Tropic of Capricorn passing. Okay. So these types of questions can be asked in exam, okay? Especially in IFT and ZAT. Yes. Okay. So just have an idea about it. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Which of the following is the longest river of the world? Nile River, Amazon, Congo River, or Ganga River? What is the right answer? Yes, Prime Meridian also cuts. Yes, Satya is right. Huh? सबसे लंबी river कौन सी है? See, I am saying longest river. I am not saying कि Uh, river with maximum volume of water i'm i'm saying longest lambai mein sabse zyada kon hai yes and it passes through which famous country kon se country se pass hoti hai yes sai pradeep alauddin jaydev kavya sai satyansh gungan maltesh shreya from app you all are right yes nile river is the right answer and you will find somewhere here so uh, from lake victoria uh, the white nile comes and from ethiopian highland blue ha nile comes meets in sudan then it becomes nile river goes to mediterranean sea right So this is Nile River, ठीक है? ये West Nile है, White Nile है, sorry, और ये Blue Nile है. So it is a result of White Nile and Blue Nile, right? It's famous in Egypt and Sudan and all, right? हाँ, huh. Egypt, very good. And here you will find somewhere Amazon River, very famous. By water content, this is the largest river. So if I if we are saying volume wise, then the then the answer should be Amazon. But if somebody is asking length wise, then it is Nile River. हाँ, largest river is Amazon. Yes, Satyansh Kumar, right? हाँ, there's an Amazon forest also there, very famous, called as Lungs of the Earth and all around it. Yes, in Brazil. So just have an idea about it. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. Which of the following is the largest country of the world? I hope you must be aware of it. That uh, at least you should be reading the largest country of the world and seventh largest is India. Yes, that you know. That seventh largest country of the world is India, <coughs> and the largest is actually Russia. Everyone is knowing it, so uh, I hope you are aware of it. I I don't need to explain. Yes, I Pradeep Education, Sai Haran, Shreya Maltesh. You all are right, huh? Alauddin, Jaydev, Kavya. You all are right. So this you will find the largest country of the world. It's a huge nation called as Russia. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Now, can anyone tell me which is the smallest country? So smallest country of the world is Vatican City. Uh, you will find inside Rome. So Rome is the capital of Italy. Okay, and inside the city, you will find a country called as Vatican City. It is the smallest city, uh, smallest country of the world, right? So let's move on to the next one. Uh, we are asking about continent. So which is the largest continent of the world? Asia, North America, Antarctica, Europe. What is the right answer to this question? Largest continent of uh, continent of the world, which one? Ah, ye to pata hoga fully. I hope you all are aware of this. 
yes uh, the right answer is the largest continent of the continent of the world is asia i hope you are aware of it hai na ye to aapko pata hona chahiye ummeed karte hain yes kavya laudin haq samir you all are right a is the right answer to this question yes of asia africa north america south america antarctica euro <laughs> oceania is nothing but australia and it's australia continent and uh, some other islands are called as together oceania hai na <clears throat> So A is the right answer to this question. Largest is Asia. Smallest you can say is Australia continent. Australia is both a country as well as continent also. The same name. Anna. A is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next one is this is an IFT previous year question. Again, uh, in which continent of the world do you find lithium triangle? So they asked in a different fa uh, fashion. I am asking you slightly in a different way. And everyone, please subscribe. Uh, uh, press the like button also. Subscribe like button. Press kar do and subscribe to our channel. In which continent of the world do you find lithium triangle? आपको lithium triangle कहाँ मिलेगा? This is was asked. Lithium triangle was asked, I think, last year or last to last year. Yes, the right answer to this question actually is. Yes, Alauddin Haq has answered it correctly. Anyone else? Yes, the right answer is it is in South America. A, B, C. These are the three nations which are together called as lithium triangle. What are those A, B, C? Let me show you. So here is India. Uh, this is South America continent, right? Yes. And take a minute. So this is South America continent. This is Bolivia. This is Argentina. This is Chile, right? So ये वाला जो triangle बनता है ना, this is called uh, we write it A, B, C. Argentina, Bolivia, Chile. So this is called as lithium triangle. You will find a lot of a lot of lithium here, and lithium is used in making batteries and electric vehicle and all. Many places lithium is used, and that is why nowadays it is very very important. है ना? Lithium आज के ज़माने में बहुत famous है. So that is why you will find in South America. So A B C means uh, Argentina, Bolivia, and Chile. Okay. So I think you will be able to remember. Yes. Longest, ha, thinnest country, longest you can say. Ha. Okay, before moving on, oh yes, longest country is Chile. Yes, Jadev. Uh, there's a small announcement. Those who are preparing for CAT next year, uh, these are the courses. 300 plus engaging videos would be there. Tablet will be provided. 135 plus live sessions would be there. 70 plus mocks. 9,500 questions. 300 plus engaging videos, etc. Would be there. Okay, and we are running a last lap uh, to uh, last lap to IFT 2023, which is at 7 p.m. and as well as for GK at 9 p.m. Okay, so this will happen from Sunday till Thursday. Okay, so this will continue to happen. So five days continuous, nine o'clock will go. This will be a GK current affairs revision series that would be very very important for you. Okay, now let's talk questions related with regions in the news because they ask questions from here also. So this is the street which was in the news. Uh, recently, Kerch Strait bridge was blown up due to missile attack. The Kerch Strait connects which two water body? Uh, this is news in uh, relation to uh, uh, Russia-Ukraine war, actually. So just have an idea about it. So Russia-Ukraine war is related. Hey, Kerch Strait bridge. Uh, a bomb se attack hua tha. Matlab usme uh, aag bhi lag gaya tha. Aur wo news mein tha. I think one or two months back. So it connects which two water body, and it was very much in the news. Jasmine seen black sea people. Yes, Sai Surya is right. D is the right answer. Yes, Chaturvedi. Yes, you are right. So the right answer to this question is actually D is the right answer. It connects Azov Sea and Black Sea. Okay. The news me tha. So they ask questions which are in the news. Yes, education, world, Gun Gun Narwaj, you all are right. Uh, have you seen this photo? आपने देखा था? So this is a news of eight eighth October. Russia says truck bomb damages 19 km Crimea bridge, which cost a billion to build. So Crimean bridge we call it, or Kerch Strait bridge. So let me show you where exactly it is. Here is India. Uh, this is Black Sea, and here is Azov Sea. Let me zoom it. This is Ukraine. Hai, this is Russia. So this is Crimea, okay, uh, which was earlier with Ukraine, but in 2014 captured by Russia. So now it is a part of this Crimea or Crimean Peninsula is a part of Russia. This is Black Sea. This is Azov Sea. Okay. And there is a small strait. This is called as Kerch Strait. And above, so it's a narrow canal of water or a narrow passage of water. Above which you will find a bridge. So this is the bridge actually. 
which was our Kerch Strait, or what we call it as Crimean Bridge or Kerch Strait Bridge. This was in the news. That is why I'm discussing it, guys. Okay, you must be aware of it. This is very very important. Azov Sea and Black Sea. Pata hona chahiye. Yes. Okay. The next one is for annexing which of the following region Russia invaded Ukraine in February this year. Yes, this is very very important. What was the reason why Russia attacked Ukraine? Because of a particular region. So Russia wanted that this region should be a part of Russia, and that is one of the main reason why Russia invaded Ukraine. So what is that region? Donbas, Crimean Peninsula, Greenland, Ukrainian Peninsula. What is the right answer, guys? This is a star mark. This question. Yes, Education World, Sai Surya, you all are right. Uh, Yes, Chaturvedi, Satyansh Kumar, Gungung, Narwal, Alauddin Haq, you all are right. A is the right answer. Donbass region is the right answer. Rishav Agarwal, Mike Saini, Dhawan, you all are right. Matriya Dhawan, you all are right. So, uh, I have just told you that Crimean Peninsula was already captured by Russia in 2014, already annexed from Ukraine. So, B cannot be the answer. So, A is the right answer. Let me show you. <clears throat> here is Russia and here is Ukraine. So, there is a region, this region actually of Ukraine. That's called as Donbass region. Uh, which is actually a combination of Luhansk and Donetsk. So there are two regions, Luhansk and Donetsk. Okay, so these two together will form uh, forms Donbass region and which was actually captured by Russia recently. Just have an idea about it. Uh, the next one is the Burkina Faso is a country which has witnessed multiple coups this year. It is in Africa, North America, Europe or Asia. Yes, very good. Yes, Chaturvedi. Donbass is Donetsk plus Luhansk. Very good. Huh? Uh, Burkina Faso actually witnessed, I think, two or three coups. Military, two military coups we have seen this year. Coup means, I hope you are aware, we pronounce it as coup. We write it as C-O-U-P, but pronounce it as coup. So, overthrow of democratic government by military, right? So, yes, it is in Africa. West Africa, you can say, yes, Sai Pradeep Education, the world, Sai uh, Alauddin, yes, Satyan, Rishabh, you all are right. A is the right answer to this question. Let me show you. So where is India? Uh, this is Africa continent and uh, here you will find Burkina Faso, right? So Burkina Faso is in West Africa. Uh, it has witnessed, in fact, you can see in sec uh, on 2nd, 8th October, we witnessed the second military coup. So yes, they can ask these types of questions. A is the right answer to this question. Let's move on to the next one. Yes, NATO is very much in the news. Uh, there is a request. Please go and read about it. So the full form of NATO is North Atlantic Treaty Organization. They can ask in detail. So like, for example, go and read who is the Secretary General of NATO, when it was formed. So it is a collective defense alliance. And what is the meaning of NATO? What is Washington Treaty? So there is a treaty related with that. Please read it. Because NATO is in the news because of Russia-Ukraine war. So the capital is in which city? Can anyone tell me? Yes, many people are answering. Sai, Krishna, Akash, Rishav, Sai, Surya, Gungun, Samir, Mayank, Sani. Yes, Belgium, the capital city is Brussels, where you will find the headquarter of NATO. Yes, Maitreya, Basavaraj, you all are right. Uh, let me show you here. Here is India. This one is Europe. And here you will find a country called as Belgium. The capital city is Brussels, where you will find the headquarter of both NATO as well as European Union. Also, you will find the headquarter. James Stolenberg, very good, Rishav Agarwal. So the Secretary General of NATO is James Stolenberg, former Prime Minister of Norway. Very good. Yes, correct. Huh? Okay. Uh, the next one is this has been very much in the news, so you should be aware of it. Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is in news recently. You will find this in which country? Ukraine, Russia, China, Iran. Oh. And everyone, please press the like button. Subco like button press kado, everyone. Zaporizhia nuclear power plant news me aapko ye batana hai. Ki koon se country me? Yes, education world, Sai Pradeep, Akash, Krishna Pandey, Utkarsh Tripathi, Basavraj. Yes, Ukraine is the right answer. Yes, Gungun, Satyan, Shalauddin. Yes, A is the right answer. Jodhara bhi answer kya So this is the largest nuclear power plant in new europe and it is in ukraine so why it was in the news uh, it was actually huh, uh, because russia was bombarding it so somewhere here is zaporizhia so there was a fear there was a fear that it might hit this nuclear power plant also yes that is why it was in the news 
uh, and it was built by earlier by Soviet Union, what we call it as USSR. I hope you are aware that before 1991, before 1991, so this was the entire region. In fact, Ukraine was also a part of USSR, right? Anna? Then these stars, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, these all nations, they're part of it. I hope you are aware of that. Anna? So just have an idea about it. Uh, the next one is uh, Gabriel Boric is the youngest president of which of the following countries? Chile, Slovenia, Azerbaijan, Cuba. It was in the news and uh, that is why we are discussing it. Anyone from app or YouTube, you both can answer it. What is the right answer? Gabriel Boric is the youngest president of which country? Everyone, please press the like button also. Yes. Sab koi like button press karte jana. Yes, the right answer is Chile. Krishna Pandey has answered it correctly. So, uh, yes, here is India. And this one is South America. Here you will find a country called as Chile. The capital city is Santiago. Yes. Yes, yes, Chaturvedi, uh, Risha Bagarwal, Krishna Pandey, you all are right. Now, it was in the news for another reason because Chile actually came up with a new constitution. Because they were running with an old 1980, there was a constitution made by General Augusto Pinochet. Augusto Pinochet. So they were running the old constitution drafted by military. So they came up with a new constitution. But when referendum happened, when referendum and when people voted, actually people rejected the new constitution. You can see 5th September news. So the Chileans resounding reject new progressive constitution. Okay. So this was actually. The new constitution was rejected by the common man in a referendum. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Uh, the next one is, in April, who among the following was appointed as the new PM of Pakistan after ouster of Imran Khan by Parliament of Pakistan? These are your options. So I hope you are aware no confidence motion was passed against Imran Khan and he was removed as the Prime Minister of Pakistan. So the new Prime Minister of Pakistan is who? What is the right answer? And I hope you must be aware of it. Yes, it's very easy. Yes, A. Yes, Education World, right? Shahbaz Sharif is the new Prime Minister of Pakistan. Yes, Sai Surya Utkarsh. There's a homework. Go and find out his party's name, which political party he belongs to. Okay. And General Asim Munir is the new Army Chief of Pakistan. And he was appointed recently. They may ask it. New Army Chief of Pakistan. And before him, General Bajwa was the uh, army chief. So this is the new army chief of Pakistan. You must be aware of it. Huh? Okay. Uh, the next one is, uh, uh, the next question is this question. With which of the following nations India has recently done SEPA, Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement recently? Huh. So, uh, I think in uh, March, April, May, somewhere, we did this an agreement, SEPA agreement. So, this is a sort of a free trade agreement. Uh, you have to tell me, we have done this agreement with which nation? UAE, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, USA, Russia. What is the right answer to this question? Anyone? Yes, Utkash, Education World, Alauddin. Gungun, uh, Lakshita Gupta, huh, Alauddin, yes, the right answer is UAE, United Arab Emirates is the right answer to this question. So you can see, uh, go and read about it on our uh, Department of Commerce, Ministry, uh, Ministry of Commerce and Industry website, SEPA with India and UAE, United Arab Emirates. Similarly, we have done uh, another agreement with Australia and that is called as ICTA, Indus ICTA also we call it as Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement. So that is called as ICTA agreement. So just have an idea about it. Okay. So uh, just have an idea. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So now border lines are also asked. So go and read about Durand line. Then there is something called as Radcliffe line. Then there is something called as LOC, line of control, line of actual control. These are the things you should be knowing it. Radcliffe line padiega after the class is over. LOC, read it. Where is LOC? Where is LAC? Where is Durand line? Where is Mac Mohan line? This also sometimes are asked in exam. Mac Mohan line kaha pe? Isko ga. These are the homeworks. Go and read it. Uh, the Durand line is a border between yes, Utkash Tripathi, Om Kini, uh, yes, Chaturvedi. Uh, 
you all are right actually it's a border line uh, it's a border between afghanistan and pakistan okay yes mayank sani maitri dhawan you all are right c is the right answer to this question uh, let me show you here so this one is uh, india this is pakistan this border is called as durand line border between pakistan and afghanistan okay yes there's a homework please go and read about mac mohan line radcliffe line line of actual control line of control loc and lac line of actual control these may be asked in exam so that is why we are giving it okay uh, the next one is recently uh, benjamin netanyahu has won the election and he is going to replace yar lapid as the prime minister of which country israel japan germany canada what is the right answer to this question everyone please press the like button also sab koi like button press kar do fatafat abhi recently chunav hua tha aur benjamin netanyahu ab jo hai naye pradhan mantri ban jayenge kuch mahine mein abhi yar lapid pradhan mantri hai kaun se country ki hum baat kar rahe hain which country we are talking about yes ab hai alauddin haq yes chaturvedi rishav agarwal uh, yes you are right the right answer is israel yes mayank om kene yes you are right so yes you can see it here israel pm lapid concedes defeat benjamin netanyahu set to become the next prime minister so this is a recent articles hardly uh, a few weeks back you can say so yes a is the right answer to this question just have an idea about it uh, now the next one is this shinzo abe was the former prime minister of which country who was assassinated in july this year and please tell the name of his political party also name of his political party i hope you are aware of shinzo abe he was uh, assassinated yes very good very good krishna alauddin rishav yash om kini lakshita you are right it's japan is the right answer to this question i hope you are aware of it a very sorry incident uh, where shinzo abe the former japan prime minister he was the longest pm of japan so you must be aware of it right so he died he died recently so just have an idea a is the right answer to this question now the next one is uh, who is the new prime minister of sri lanka see i hope you are aware in sri lanka we are witnessing an economic crisis yes okay and because of which both prime minister and president had to resign and we have witnessed the new prime minister and a new president in sri lanka so you must be aware of it who is the new pm and who is the new president so the new prime minister of sri lanka what is the right answer yes fumio kishida is the new pm of japan yes rishav right ha huh? so what is the right answer new pm of तो लोग सोच रहे होंगे ए हमेशा सही हो रहा था इस बार भी ए हो यस गुंजन नरवाल इज राइट द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ श्रीलंका इज दिनेश गुनावर्दिना सो ही इज अ न्यू पीएम एंड द न्यू प्रेसिडेंट इज रनिल विक्रमसिंघे एंड ही वाज द ओल्ड प्रेसिडेंट हु हैड टू रिजाइन हु हैड टू रिजाइन बिकॉज़ ऑफ प्रोटेस्ट ओके एंड ओल्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर वाज हिज ब्रदर महेंद्र राजा पक्सा so both had to resign both the brothers so old pm old pm means just before him and resign both had to resign both brothers were actually president and prime minister both had to resign and the new president is ranil vikramasinghe and new prime minister is dinesh gunawardhana yes i hope you are aware of this that people entered into the president's house and all you remember that hai na yaad hoga aapko and that was in gotabaya rajapaksa's house so that is why uh, he had to resign and so he is the new president and is the new prime minister just have an idea okay so c is the right answer to this question uh who among the following yes uh, this is a question for you who among the following world leader re recently visited taiwan in august which made china angry this is china naraz ho gaya tha joe biden nancy pelosi emmanuel macron rishi sunak what is the right answer to this question sahi jawab batana hai There's a request. Everyone, please press the like button also. Sab ko like button press kar de jana. Everyone. Yes. Uh, the right answer is yes. Very good. Allow din. Yes, Rishav, you all are right. So Nancy Pelosi, she is the speak. She was speaker of U.S. House of Representative. U.S. House of Representative. Yes. So B is the right answer to this question. uh so she came from usa she is a speaker of house of representative so she came to taiwan here is taiwan 
and that China has some issues and because of which China actually started doing military drill around it. So this is Taiwan and between Taiwan and China, here you will find Taiwan Strait. Okay, so just have an idea about this. Okay, yaad rakhiyega, this is important. Now, this one is also very important. Uh, I hope you are aware of this. The death of Mahsa Amini resulted into the protest in Iran, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Qatar. What is the right answer? This was also very much in the news. So, the name of the girl, you should be aware of it. They can ask this also. Everyone, please answer it. You can answer it on YouTube and app, both places. Yes, huh? Sub koi like button press kado. Everyone, please press the like button, guys. Yes, actually, it's an anti hijab protest. I hope you are aware it became very famous and all. Yes, very good. Alauddin, Tishna, Om, Kene, Harshita, Rishav, you all right? Yes, Chaudhary, yes. So, uh, when protest, uh, actually, she was uh, arrested by police, and there is an allegation that she died in police custody and all. And because of she was not wearing proper hijab and all. So, anti hijab protest started happening, and finally, uh, uh, Iran had to actually on, yes, this is a news of. 4th December, Iran had to abolish the morality police after the anti hijab protest. So, the girl who died was, uh, please remember her name, uh, Mahsa Amini. So, just have an idea about it. A is the right answer. Okay. Uh, the next one is this question. Yes, uh, they ask in match the following in IFT. If you see, they ask in match the following okay, who is the president, the prime minister? So, uh, yes, who is the president of China who has got the third term recently? in the 28th National Congress of Chinese Communist Party. So Chinese Communist Party is ruling uh, the China. I hope you are aware. So he was the earlier the president for second term. Then for third term also he has been uh, reappointed. So in the recent elect, uh, National Congress which held in Beijing. So they decided to continue his tenure. Yes, the right answer is Xi Jinping. Xi Xi is the right answer. Many people are answering it. Yes, Alaudi, Noam Kene, Ashita, Maitri, Shobham, you all are right. And Li Keqiang is actually the premier. Premier, uh, they do not use the word prime minister, they use the word premier. Okay. And the president is Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping, I hope you are aware of him. Yes. So just have an idea about it. Okay. So if it is 2012, say if you add so 10 years, two term, it becomes 2022. Now he has got the another five year term. So third term he has got, right? Okay. Uh, the next one is. Now, recently the elections happened in Brazil, yes? And who won the presidential election? And these are options Jair Bolsonaro, Lula de Silva, Nicolas Maduro, none of the above. What is the right answer to this question? Everyone, please press the like button also. We will be coming daily from Sunday, from today onwards till Thursday at 9 pm. So, yaad rakhiega, har din 9 baje aayenge. Okay? So, please do follow us, follow me at 9 p.m. on the same YouTube channel. Okay, from uh, Sunday till Thursday on. So, yes, the right answer is Lula de Silva. So, Jair Bolsonaro was the president and actually he lost the election. Okay, so now we'll be having a new president called as Lula de Silva. Okay, so just have an idea. B is the right answer. Rishav, education, Kohn, Kene, Krishna Pandey, Lakshita, Satyansh, you all are right. Huh? B is the right answer. So, he's the new president of Brazil. What is the capital of Brazil? Brasilia. Okay. Do not say Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro is also a city, but the capital is Brasilia. Okay. So go and find out the currency of it. Currency of Brazil. Kya hai? It's a homework. Go and find out. Okay. Because currencies are also asked. Now, recently, Ibrahim, uh, Anwar Ibrahim has recently been appointed as the Prime Minister of which of the following countries? Malaysia, Indonesia, Qatar, Turkey. What is the right answer? Say Jawab Batana. Anwar Ibrahim ko recently prime minister banaya gaya hai kaun se country ka aapko batana hai Yes the right answer is Malaysia Alauddin Haq right A is the right answer to this question Yes <coughs> Yes Alauddin uh, education world Satyansh Gungun Narwal so you can see Abra Anwar Ibrahim so 24th November he took the oath uh, of office or oh, he took the office of Prime Minister of Malaysia. So the right answer is A is the right answer to this question. <clears throat> uh, the next one is what is the capital city of Qatar? Doha, Manama, Riyadh, Baghdad. 
Hare Krishna Yadav, so this will be asked in IAFT. GK is asked in IAFT, in fact in ZAT also, in upcoming CMAT and TestNet also. Na? So that is why this, hmm, this will be important for that. Upcoming exam, IFT is on 18th December, right? Na? Qatar FIFA World Cup is happening, so you must be aware of Qatar. Yes, what is the capital, what is the currency, these things, who is the Prime Minister and all. So, <coughs> yes, Alauddin Haka is right, Satyan, Shrishav, Om Kenne, Lakshita, Kavya, you all are right. Doha is the right answer to this question. Uh, let me show you where exactly it is. Here is India, this one is Qatar and the capital city is Doha. Yes, so the, the right answer to this question is A. Yes, Matri, Mayank, Sani, you all are right. Uh, so these are, uh, just have an idea about it. So who is the Prime Minister of Qatar? So he is the Prime Minister of Qatar, Khalifa bin, Khalifa bin Abdul Aziz Al Thani. And he is the Amir of Qatar, Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. So just have an idea about it. Since Qatar is in the news, they can ask questions associated with Qatar. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on. Okay, go and read uh, what is the currency of it. So it's, it's a homework. What is the currency? Go and find out. Uh, the next one is, I hope you are aware, Morbi Bridge Collapse was in the news. So they ask questions from, in world geography, they can ask questions from rivers. Anna? Rivers, country, continent, from which city, which river passes. Since Morbi Bridge Collapse was in the news recently, I think more than, uh, I think 130, 140 people died. So you should be knowing that this was on which river, which river in Ijeme, which you are seeing on the photo. Sabarmati river, Machu river, Mahi river, Narmada river. So it's in Gujarat, the incident happened in Gujarat. Yes, Rishabh Agarwal is right, very good. Yes, Om Kene, you are right. Uh, B is the right answer, Alauddin Haq, yes. So the right answer to this question, uh, question is Mashu river. So this is the river called as Mashu. I don't know the pronunciation, perhaps it is Mashu. Okay. Krishna, Abhay, Alauddin Haq, you all are right. So he said, Pucha ja sakta. these are very, very important because Morbi river collapse abhi news mein tha. So they can ask question ki, what is the name of the river? Yes, you should be knowing it. Huh. So here is actually Gujarat state of Gujarat and here you will find Machu River. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Now let's talk about match the following. <laughs> so these are match the following and one, two, three, four. Now you have to write in options when you are writing it, just write it one ka A, two ka B, three ka C, four ka D, write in one comment. So that I can check and find out who is right here. So these are currencies and you have to match it and then answer it. So in one answer, in one comment section, you have to write uh, all the four. That 1A, 2B, 3C, 4D like this. Okay. And everyone please press the like button also because currencies, capital, these are asked in exam. We have worked very hard to come up with this content to ensure that question should come from this class. Sara answer likho. 1 ka A, B, C, D, sab, ek sab. Yes, very good. Harsh Vijay, right. Risha Agarwal, correct. Yes, Abhay, right. Qatar's currency is Qatari Real. So, you can write Qatari Real. Okay. UAE, United Arab Emirates, Qatar is Dirham. Okay, it's already matched. Huh? Israel's is Shekel and UK's is Pound. Okay. <coughs> so, basically, Qatar is in the news. So, that is why they can ask it. Okay. So, I have to ask you. UAE, India has done the... Uh, Recent SIPA agreement, so they can ask. Shekel is the currency of Israel. Dollar, everyone knows, is the currency of USA. You all know these things, right? UK is pound. So that is this actually question is already matched. Yes, okay. Uh, yes, Lakshita. Did you know ABCD matched answer? Yeah, they all are right. Harshita, Harshika, you all are right. Uh, the next is this question. Some of them are actually previous, uh, maybe a previous question also. See. Uh, Russia and Ukraine are in the news. I hope you are aware. Both are in the news. So that is why they can ask questions from there, whichever is in the news. Okay, so please answer it. Everyone, try to attempt it from both YouTube and app. Don't know the try TJ. Yes. So what is the right answer, guys? So just remember it, Ukraine is in the news, so you must be aware of it. Please answer it. B ka 1, C ka 4. Yes, uh, Lakshita is right. 3, 2, 1, 4. 3, 2, nahin. 2, 1, 4, 3. 
Yes, very good. Uh, I have got the right answer from Sai Pradeep Samira Reddy. Yes. Harsh Vijay is also right. Yes. Okay. Ukraine's currency is Harivinia. Okay. So just remember it. It is in the news. Russia's currency is Ruble. R-O-U-B-L-E. Sometimes we write. Sometimes we write R-U-B-L-E. Indonesia's currency is Rupah. And Myanmar's currency is Kayat. You must be knowing it because these are our uh, neighbors. Russia and Ukraine is in the news. So that is why you should be knowing it. Then you should be knowing about some, some of our neighbors. So in India is rupee. Pakistan is also rupee. Nepal is having Nepali rupee. Bhutan is Nagal Trump. Anna. Then Bangladesh is Dhaka. Uh, Taka. Okay. Myanmar is Kayat. Myanmar is our neighbor. Anna. Sri Lanka is Sri Lankan rupee. Okay. Okay. China is Yuan or sometimes called as Ren Min B. Ren Min B. Yes. Uh. So just have an idea about it. Yes, so just have an idea. So uh, at least our neighborhood uh, countries, their capitals and uh, you can say the currencies, you must be knowing it. Match the following rivers and cities. They also ask this type of question. In fact, uh, some of them are previous year question also. Yes, <clears throat> and some of them I have given from your side, from my side. Match the rivers and cities. So I'm waiting for your answers. Baghdad is a very famous city. Uh, this was actually asked in IFT. Baghdad matching with which river? So, what is the right answer to this question? Washington DC is the capital of USA. New York is a very famous city in USA. New London is the capital of England. You must be knowing it, guys. Yes, KS has answered it correctly. Very good. Fantastic. So, Baghdad is a capital city of Iraq. It is on Tigris River. So, this is a previous year question. IFT already asked this. Yes. Krishna Pandey, Satyan, you all are right. Risha huh? Agarwal. Huh? Washington DC is a capital of USA. You must be knowing it. It is on the bank of Potomac River. New York is on Hudson River. Very famous. Hudson River is very famous. London is on Thames. ये तो बहुत बचपन से सिखाया जाता है. At least you should be knowing कि D का four होता है. ठीक है. So the right answer is three one two four. है ना? So just have an idea about this. Okay. Let's move on further. Uh, let me show you the cities and all. ठीक है. So this is USA है ना? Here you will find New York. इसके नीचे यहाँ पे आपको मिलेगा Washington DC. है ना? This is England somewhere. Here you will find London. ठीक है. This is Iraq somewhere here. Let me show you. Here is Iraq. So, here is a river. Aati hai. From where this river comes, that's called as Euphrates. And here is a river called as Tigris. Okay. And here you will find the city of Baghdad, the capital city of Iraq. Okay. So, you must be aware of it. Similarly, Iran ki capital is Tehran. Hai na? You should be knowing these things. Hai na? Okay, uh, the next one is again river and cities. There's a question for you. Read it carefully and answer it. We are discussing very important ones. Okay. So almost ye tino to previous year mein chuka hai, B, C or D. So this is an IFT previous year question. Option B, C and D. So that is why I'm expecting you to answer it. Everyone please press the like button, share this video, subscribe to our channel. Answer it guys. Dekho, Nile River abhi maine bataya hai. It is on which? It is in Egypt. So the capital city of Egypt is Cairo. Yes. Yes. Again Sai Pradeep Sami Reddy has answered it correctly. Yes. Nile River is on you will find it passes through Egypt. So Cairo is the capital of Egypt. Yes. Tiber River, this is a previous year question, it is in Rome, which is the capital of Italy. Okay, Danube River is on uh, in Budapest, you will find in Europe. And Han River is in Seoul, which is the capital of South Korea. Just have an idea about it. Yes. So, 3, 1, 2, 4 is the right answer. Yes, Krishna Pandey, Satyansh, KS, you all are right. 
थ्री वन टू फोर थ्री वन टू फोर इज द राइट आंसर ओके लेट मी शो यू वेर एक्जैक्ट लेट इज सो दिस इज इंडिया एंड हेयर यू विल फाइंड साउथ कोरिया द कैपिटल इज सियोल एंड हान रिवर यू विल फाइंड हेयर दिस इज इटली हेयर इन द मिडल यू विल फाइंड रोम ओके द कैपिटल एंड इन रोम टाइबर रिवर एक्चुअली पास इज रोइ ठीक है Similarly, somewhere here actually, this is uh, the Danube River, है ना? I am making a rough sketch. Actually, it passes through ten uh, countries, है ना? यहाँ से ऐसे कुछ rough इस तरह जाती है, Danube River, ठीक है? And here is Budapest. देखो यहाँ है Hungary का capital Budapest. So from here actually, इस तरह कुछ है, uh, Danube River is there. Yes. So just have an idea. This was already D A N U B Danube River was asked in exam. Similarly, one more thing you should be knowing it is the uh, Ukraine. Where you will find a river. This river is actually called as Nister, Nipper River, Nipper. Huh? And on this here you will find the city, capital city of Ukraine, called as Kiev. Okay, so just have an idea about this also, right? Anna, so just have an idea. Yes. Okay. Now, before moving on, guys, there's a small announcement. Uh, ZAT twenty twenty three All India Open Mock we have come up with from fourteen December to twenty third December we uh, will be running this test uh, mock test. Please do join it. Video solutions will be provided by expert faculties. You can know your strength and weakness and identify your strategy. So register it. Uh, by go to Byju's exam prep cat section. You will get more detail about it. Now let's ask some questions associated uh, with uh, government schemes and portals. So now this is the question. This question is in front of you, and it says, "Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana has recently completed its eighth year. It is a scheme for microfinancing, financial inclusion, free legal aid, loan waiver. What is the right answer?" प्रधान मंत्री जन धन योजना आठ साल अभी रिसेंटली अगस्त में कंप्लीट किया इसने है ना सो जन धन योजना इज रिलेटेड विद ओपनिंग बैंक अकाउंट्स आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट यस साई प्रदीप एजुकेशन वर्ल्ड अलाउद्दीन कृष्णा अभय यू आर राइट शुभम सो माइक्रो द राइट आंसर इज एक्चुअली बी फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन ओपनिंग बैंक अकाउंट यस यश चतुर्वेदी काव्या जिन्होंने बी आंसर किया यू आर राइट नॉट ए Uh, this is actually financial inclusion means opening bank accounts. So opening bank accounts, ठीक है? So that was the main job. Zero, uh, zero uh, balance account we call it as, है ना? प्रधान मंत्री जनधन योजना. So B is the right answer to this question. अब है you all are right. Yes, it's a financial inclusion campaign launched on 28th August 2014. So we have completed ATS now recently. Okay, then E Samadhan portal launched by which organization? Niti Aayog, UGC, AICTE, none of the above. What is the right answer? ई समाधान पोर्टल किसने लॉन्च किया रिसेंटली आपको बताना है एनीवन बिकॉज पोर्टल सोचो दे आस्क ये वाला पोर्टल किसने लॉन्च किया एंड ऑल प्रीवियस ईयर पूछ चुके हैं यस द राइट आंसर इज यूजीसी यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रांट कमीशन सो बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन देखो दिस इज फ्रॉम देयर ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट है ना यूजीसी E Samadhan. So this is a grievance redressal platform. You understand grievance redressal platform. They can ask these types of questions. Okay, so just have an idea about it. So B is the right answer to this question. Okay, now let's. I'm going to tell you a little theory about it. About it. Uh, there is Ayushman Bharat Yojana. So this is related with health insurance scheme of government of India. Please be aware of it. and read more, one more thing about it ayushman bharat digital mission please go and read about it what is the benefit of ayushman bharat digital mission ayushman bharat is a health insurance scheme of government of india and there have a ministry of health and family welfare to provide health insurance to people right so 10 crore household or 50 crore indians would get benefit then uh, there is a scheme ye bhi pooch chuka hai last year pradhan mantri Prime Minister Street Vendors Aat Nirbhar Nidhi, what we call it as PM Swanidhi. So this is to provide micro credit facility for street vendors. You understand street vendors? So those who are selling actually on the roadside the vegetables and all, they are called as street vendors. So for that, the government has launched the PM Swanidhi Yojana, where actually, uh, what will be the benefit? So they will be providing loans 
कोलेट्रल फ्री लोन्स यू अंडरस्टैंड कोलेट्रल फ्री लोन्स है ना बिना गिरवी के ना अप टू टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स एंड ऑल ठीक है सो स्पेशली फॉर इट इज स्कीम ऑफ माइक्रो फाइनेंसिंग माइक्रो फाइनेंसिंग ने छोटे लेवल पर लोन देना है ना स्मॉल लेवल गिविंग लोन टू पुअर पीपल और स्मॉल लेवल पीपल राइट सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट देन देर इज अ स्वामित्व स्कीम इट इज एक्चुअली टू मैप तो मैपिंग ऑफ लैंड इज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ ड्रोन ठीक है सो दैट इज वॉट द मेन आइडिया इज दैट कॉल एज स्वामित्व स्कीम जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया uh so the uh, which land belongs to you so that will be done by drones and then it will be actually recorded that this area belongs to you this area belongs to this person so that will be that recording of land will be done by drones that is what we call it as swamitva scheme theek okay? so hai full form is survey of village abadi in mapping with improvised technology uh the next is samarth scheme so you can see it here samarth this scheme is to provide a skill to those who are employed in textile sector so it's a capacity building program to provide skill in textile sector okay so it's under ministry of textiles so just have an idea about it so go and read it we have discussed i have attached it here so just go and read it then another one is pradhan mantri ujwal yojana under this actually cylinders lpg cylinders are provided to 5 crore indian female those who belong to below poverty line now this 5 crore was increased to 8 crore okay so now this is the target to provide 80 billion matlab uh, Eight crore people will be given this. Eight crore female from BPL household, below poverty line women will be getting this cylinder. Okay, so just have an idea about it. So as Bharat Mission, everyone knows to ensure cleanliness and open defecation free. Open defecation free means खुले में स्वच्छ नहीं करना है ना स्वच्छ. ODF means to ensure that everyone should be using toilets instead of uh, You can say go, uh, defecating in open and ground, so you must be aware of it. Yes. Then there is another scheme called as Fame scheme. This is under Ministry of Heavy Industries to promote electric vehicles in India. So just have an idea about it. Fame scheme to promote electric vehicles in India. Okay. So uh, the full form is faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles in India. So that's called as Fame scheme. Just have an idea about it. These are important ones, so that is why we are discussing it. then there is pm kusum yojana so this is the full form of it pm kusum yojana under this actually the main idea is i hope you are aware if you are from village areas so this irrigation actually is done with the help of what generators so generators requires what diesel and diesel causes pollution so we are replacing it with solar panel so solar panel will absorb solar energy and convert it into other energies through which generators would work and that generator would be used in irrigation facility is it clear so the irrigation of the agricultural field to be done with the help of solar or renewable energy so that is what the idea of pm kusum yojana under ministry of new and renewable energy uh, just have an idea about it because these are very very important ones and you should be aware of it the next is digital india i hope you are aware of digital india to spread internet awareness and promote online banking online transaction paytm and all everything you should be aware of it digital india online ticketing online booking etc and all it was uh, launched by pm modi on 4 july 2015 okay now uh, there is under digital india there are different schemes so these all are actually under it like bharat net make in india and all so this is called as bharat net or bharat broadband internet so to provide internet connectivity to 2.5 lakh gram panchayats so basically it's a part of digital india mission right similarly startup india is to promote startups so those who are preparing for cat should be aware of this startup india very similar to that there is a stand up india this is also to promote business or entrepreneur but it is specific to women and sc st so this is the key here right startup india is there similarly there is a stand up india and start them in stand up india is to promote business or entrepreneurship for women and scheduled caste and scheduled tribe so they can ask this similarly there is beti bachao beti padhao abhiyan so the main idea is to ensure beti bachao means female foeticide should be stopped hai na that is what the idea is female foeticide plus uh, you can say female infanticide matlab bachiyon ko log maar dete the na pehle jaisa tarah hota hai to usko reduce karna hai means it, it needs to ensure that yes a girl child should be born Uh, she should not be killed and all beti padhao means the girl should be taught yes 
so it's uh, actually the very that is what the idea is to improve the child sex ratio and i'll likhan if you read it carefully that is what the idea is and it is actually led by three ministries ministry of women child development health and family welfare and education all the three ministries are working to uh, make this campaign successful ujala scheme is there to provide leds and uh, for all affordable led lights i hope you are aware of this so that's called as ujala scheme so just have an idea about it then make in india is to ensure that india should become a manufacturing hub right we should not be importing rather than making in our own country that is called as make in india hai na aatmanirbhar bharat we call it in hindi also hai na so this was also launched in 2014 then poshan abhiyan is to provide poshan i hope you are aware it's related with nutrition to provide nutritious food right and all to children pregnant women and lactating mothers so we are having poshan abhiyan for that so just have an idea to ensure that there should not be any malnutrition so poshan abhiyan is that for theek hai so uh, it was launched on international women's day 8 march 2018 just have an idea about it theek hai fir ek aur pm mudra yojana so pradhan mantri mudra yojana is to provide micro financing we use this word so to provide loans to smaller people or smaller level enterprise hai na msme micro small medium enterprise industry jo chote level ki industry hoti hai cottage industry or small level industry street vendors and all usko hum log msme kehte hain theek hai so under uh, under pradhan mantri mudra yojana uh, these will be provided okay so just have an idea about it so this is all about today's class i have tried to cover many things as much as possible so this is all about today's class now i'll be meeting you tomorrow at 9 pm theek hai so kal 9 baje fir mulakat hogi please subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram facebook download the byju's exam prep app thank you everyone uh, thanks for watching now i'll be meeting you tomorrow at 9 pm thanks for watching